Hello everybody, thank you for being here today. This is Tornado Nathan News by Nathan Hester. Alright, sorry I ain't been on here lately. I've been dealing with some things. I'll come on when I can. It may this may be an extended period of time, I don't know. But anyways, let's start out with the wrist for today. The weather wrist. Y'all see this light area all the way through here and around? That is your general thunderstorm wrist. Then you got this green. That green right there is your marginal wrist. Then you got the yellow. That yellow right there. That is your slight wrist. And then you got this brown. That is your enhanced wrist. And y'all take me very seriously. Out in here between Texas and Oklahoma and Kansas today. It's, that's a high risk right there in that paint. I was going to leave and try to get over there to that. But with things going on, by the time I could leave and get over there, I believe the storm would be gone. So I did not go to Texas. I did not go to Oklahoma. Um, the setup sort of changed yesterday evening. And then the other day with things going on, like I said, I postponed it a little while. But this setup right here is very, very dangerous setup. You live anywhere in this area today, you better be on high alert. High, high alert. If I lived anywhere in that area and I was in that high alert, I'd be getting out of that area. That's just me, but if I if I went in a storm chaser and didn't know much about storms, I'd get I'd get out. But I'm not telling you to. I mean, everybody do what they want to do. I'm not telling you to leave your home or your land for nobody or for nothing. That's your own choice. I'm just saying, if I wasn't a storm chaser and I didn't know nothing about weather other than tornadoes, I, if I lived in a high-risk area, no matter what it was, I'd be trying to go to a, at least a lower risk. But some people will run, some will stay. That's, it just depends on situation. We do got some storms popping up over here toward the Carolinas. Need to watch that up in there. They're starting to pop up. These storms was pretty bad last night to come across Mississippi. They wasn't uh, very tornadic, but they was a lot of lightning and heat lightning in it. They was moving pretty quick. All right. Y'all see the front of boundaries. First time I've seen it in days. So I can't tell you what it's been looking like since several weeks ago. But y'all see this front of boundary, these lows, these lows, that low sitting right there could spin some thunderstorms up through here today. And you got this low that could spin them. We got low sitting everywhere. We ain't got much high pressure. We got low pressure, but we ain't got much high pressure. A couple high pressures out here. All right. Now we done went over that. All this out here is fire risk in the paint. And this yellow would be high wind warning. Up in here and up and around Montana. That's all high wind warning. And all these blues are your power outages. Counties with power outages, that's power outage. So now that y'all see them, we can take some things off the map real quick and get going. We're going to turn the alerts off, the outlooks off. Might as well turn the lightning off for now. We don't need that. And we don't need the front of bounce. All right, we got to go through this quickly. I ain't got a lot of time. All right, we got 2.2 .2 North Carolina. We're in Belmont, North Carolina, 3.8 kilometers deep. We got a 1.8, 19.6 kilometers deep in Decatur, Tennessee. Then over here in Oklahoma, where all this storm is going to be today, you got several smaller earthquakes there. We sit in one down here south of San Antonio. Actually, there's two, 1.6 and a magnitude 2. West Texas is still swarming. Southern California right here is, oh man, y'all look at that. Look how locked and loaded that is now. This is signs of something is about to happen here, y'all. This is packing way too much. Look at all these. And they're all trying to shoot in over here. I would expect bigger earthquakes to start picking up in this area. I really would. Ridgecrest area out in here. 
Not much going on. Few. These are all from the geysers. Where they make electricity with the steam. Right out here in the Cascadia Seduction Zone between it and one of Tapuca Fault, we got a 2.9 at 10 kilometers a day. All these little volcanoes got some small ones. These are coming in straight over here into the magma chamber now. 1.12, 1.25, 1.02, .1 and 2.8 right here. Then just north of Salt Lake City, y'all look here, 2.64, 2.98, and a 4.37. At 4.37, now they're saying it's a 4.4 at 7 kilometers deep. Let's zoom in on that. Ain't that funny? Well, what did I tell y'all before? I think Salt Lake City was an ancient volcano that hit the salt pocket instead of a magma pocket and it blowed it up, and that's where the salt come from. I do believe. I think it's related to Yellowstone. I do believe that. That's my belief. I may be wrong. Could be right. Alright, let's go on up here. Georgia, Russia. Look up here in Russia, 5.3, 10 kilometers. Alaska, they swarming up there, 3.6, 2.6, 3.9, another 3.9, and a 3.0. Coming over here, they call this Japan, a 4.8, Taiwan, a 5.6, and a 5.4. They call me, this is 4.7, 5.6, and a 5.4 at, in the Philippines, they call them that. Coming on down here, they're showing a 6.2, a 5.6, and a 4.7 right there. And Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, showing a 4.9. New Caledonia, 4.5. Over around Tonga, 4.6. Let's keep on going this way now. Y'all see, they're going around the ring. They ain't sort of splitting this way hardly. They ain't showing nothing over here. So let's st come on back down here. South of Africa, 4.9. South of South America, 4.6. We got a couple right here, two 4.9. And they call this Easter Island, southeast of Easter Island. Right here, we got a 4.6 in Chile. 4.4 and a 4.9. They call that Chile area as well. Over around Colombia, 4.8 and a 5.0. And out here on this fracture zone, a 5.4. Right here around Guatemala on the... Fault zone that goes all the way down the coast, 4.3. And then we got this little swarm over here around the Dominican Republic. So, a 3.09, a 2.5, and a 3.01. So, we need to watch for the earthquakes, okay? Because they are definitely going around the ring of fire, and they're, they're starting to pick up. As you can see, all the activities from here, just about it, to here. And all this is going to have to go up and go around, or it's going to have to shoot through here, come up through here, or it can shoot at any of these plates, really, but it likes traveling through here and up through here and back around toward Turkey and Greece. So I'd watch them. Let's get back to North America. I don't think there's nothing else to show on this map, but I do want to show you the rain amounts that was collected today from yesterday y'all can see there's y'all's map of the, of the location of the rain that was recorded the white is nothing red is the highest let's see if y'all can see this y'all see that right there all right so let me give you an example right here where i'm at i had 0 0.85 this morning 0 0.85 Almost an inch of rain. So, we got a lot of rain. These areas up here got a lot of rain. That was all these storms. 
and we're going to have more coming up. So we all through here, just about the whole southeast got rain, except for the southern parts of these three, three or four states right here. And a little bit in the panhandle. But once again, y'all watch these storms. It's going to be flaring up in this area today. I did want to go out there, but I can't. So, sometimes you can't, you can't. But anyways, I wanted to show y'all that. And I want y'all to have a blessed day. <clears throat> and um, y'all pray for the people out there in that high-risk area today, y'all. Because uh, them high-risk areas like that is a bad, bad situation. They don't put high risk for nothing. And let's just pray. Uh, whatever God's will may happen. But let's pray for wisdom, strength. And everything for all the people out there and the safety, you know. Take care of yourself. Watch for the warnings. I don't know if I'll be on or not. I probably won't be because I'm not staying at home right now. So I'm just coming home a couple times a day. So right now I'm not at home, so I'm not going to be able to do it constantly. But y'all have a blessed day. And we'll talk to y'all again before long.